What's up, I'm Joe. You know, I think of myself as a pretty honest person, and I think most other people do as well. Usually most people aren't intentionally deceiving anybody or doing anything weird or stealing or cheating at things, which is why I think it's so weird when I catch myself telling little lies every single day. We're not talking about big, huge things. I'm talking about little lies here and there, and it turns out that those are kind of part of the fabric of our society. They function as sort of a social lubricant. So here's a list of the top lies that I and other people tell, often without even realizing it. I'm good, as in, hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, I'm good, everything's cool, thanks. This is always a lie. There is always something else on your mind, or you're upset about something, or you're worried about something, or something is going on in your life. I even made a video about this like almost two years ago now, and I still tell this lie all the time. But I think that it's because the other person is actually lying. Because when you ask, how are you? You don't really want any answer except, oh yeah, everything's cool. It's like, I care just enough to ask this question, but not really enough to get deeply involved in your problems. Hello? Mm. No, you didn't wake me up. No, everything's cool. I tell this lie all the time, especially when I feel like it's too late to have been sleeping. So I try and, <clears> hmm. <throat> try and like clear my throat and not have the sleepy voice when I get on the phone with somebody. And people who call and wake you up, it's invariably something like super complex and difficult to understand. Like they wanna talk about politics in Africa or they want to schedule something and you have to be like, oh, I don't have my calendar in front of me. Let me just kind of back. I don't know why I don't just say, yeah, uh, you did wake me up actually, so I'll call you back in a little bit after I'm, you know, awake. It seems like that would be easier than trying to convince this person that you're just constantly in this half comatose state. This is just how you naturally are. This is one of my favorites and it also has to do with the phone. Texting back like, oh, hey, I just saw this, sorry. Sometimes that's true, like, you know, my phone died or I was in an area with no service or something like that. But for the most part, I tell that one when somebody's like asked me to commit to something that I either don't really wanna do or I, I need to like go home and check a calendar or something like that. And I don't just bother responding like, hey, let me check because I feel like I, if I tell them that there might be some other priorities in my life, that they'll be offended. I can't get away with this one anymore, but one of the staples in elementary school and middle school was, sorry, my parents said I can't. It was so easy to just pass the buck on to your parents to avoid the play date with like the oblivious smelly kid. I guess the adult version of this is, sorry, I have a prior commitment. I really can't commit to that. Sorry about that. Maybe next time though, call me. That probably still saves a lot of my friends' dates with the oblivious smelly kid, which I'm hoping, I don't think is me. Maybe sometimes. Here's one that I think every nerd or at least every Netflix subscriber knows. Yeah, just one more episode. You just say, oh yeah, we can watch one more. And then you look around to make sure that everybody's willing to tell the lie along with you. And then, okay, you push play. And then before you know it, you look up and it's 5 a.m. and you've watched the entirety of My Little Pony. You might also be personally familiar with the gamer version of this, which is, oh, just one more game or just one more turn if you're playing like Civilization. This lie has lost me more sleep than I think any other thing in my life. And finally, the big one, the one that everybody tells all the time, seems like they go out of their way to tell this one, just five minutes. If you're at a restaurant, your table is always five minutes away. You're always five minutes away from leaving. You're always five minutes away from getting there. Nothing takes five minutes. Because in our culture, there's this shame on making people wait for you. So saying a time that's actually honest makes you look terrible. So you feel like you have to say, oh, just five minutes. I'll be done in five minutes. I'll be ready in five minutes. It'll only take me five minutes to go. And I think that's it. That's all I can think of anyway. I'm not sure why I just, totally shot myself in the foot regarding every little lie I tell every day. I don't know how I'm gonna interact with people now who watch my videos. Um, but maybe you can make me feel better about it. What are some of the lies you guys tell? Or do you tell these lies? And do you think we should feel guilty for telling these lies? Or is the truth more important in like sciencey stuff and less important in, you know, day-to-day -day small talk? Also, while you're at it, do me a favor, subscribe if you're new, click the like button, and please share this video out. It'll only take you five minutes. 50 XP for watching. Peace and love.